Dimsport New Trust Data versus PCM Flash. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your go to spot for everything on automobile diagnostics. Before we dive in, I have a quick favor to ask. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for updates, and stick around till the end so you don't miss a thing. And if you enjoy the content, a super thanks would mean the world to us. Let's get started. Choosing between Dimsport New Trust Data and PCM Flash depends on your needs, budget, and vehicle coverage requirements for Bosch EDC 16 slash ADC 17 in bench mode. Here's a breakdown. 1. Dimsport New Trust Data. Pros. Wide vehicle coverage. Supports a broad range of ECUs, including EDC 16 slash MEDC 17, across various car brands. Advanced features. Can read, write, and back up the entire ECU, including flash, EEPROM, and serial EEPROM. Service mode. No need to open ECUs for most models, including EDC 1617. Professional tool. Suitable for workshops and automotive professionals handling multiple car brands. Cons. Higher cost. Premium price due to extensive ECU compatibility and advanced features. Complexity. May require advanced skills for full utilization. 2. PCM Flash Original. Pros. Budget-friendly. More affordable for specific ECU flashing tasks. Fast operations. Works well with Scanmatic 2 Pro. Faster ECU flashing on EDC 17. Ease of use. Simplified operation. Great for enthusiasts and performance tuners. Cons. Limited coverage. Focuses mainly on EDC 17, with no service mode for EDC 16. Tuning specific. Best for car tuners focused on a few specific models. Which to choose? Go for Dimsport New Trust Data if you want full ECU coverage, professional level features, and bench slash OBD versatility. Ideal for workshops and professionals. Choose PCM Flash if you primarily work with EDC 17 and need a fast, budget friendly flashing tool for tuning purposes. For maximum flexibility, some users pair new Trust Data for bench slash service mode with KSS3 for OBD programming. Let me know if you need more details. Automobile Laptop Computer. Thanks so much for watching till the end. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And before you go, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. If you'd like to show extra support, go ahead and tap that super thanks button. Until next time, happy diagnosing.